this video, we will have a look at the membrane potentials. Now, they are so important because they are the ones responsible for almost each and every electrical activity. Why? Because activities include mainly currents and current flow occur because of the potentials. Okay. So, these potentials are mainly because of what? Electrical charges. Okay. Now, question is what they include. So, we will be discussing what? We will be discussing basically the equilibrium potentials, then the RMPs, then the AP. So, all these fundas would be done here. So, RMP, AP and other potential like EPSP, IPSP, they all are put under what category? The membrane potentials, okay. Now, to understand the membrane potential, the first thing we to understand is the nursed equilibrium, okay. Now, what is that? So, understand, uh, first question is, right, the cell membrane is selectively permeable. Now, what do you mean by this term selectively permeable? That means it is neither fully permeable nor it is impermeable. That means it allows some and it doesn't allow other. So, that what the meaning is? That means at rest, it is permeable to which ions? Potassium and chloride okay so it is permeable to which ions potassium and chloride okay potassium and chloride are you clear okay so that's why they are called as diffusible ions okay so which ions diffusible ions are you clear so diffusible ions okay clear and not permeable to Okay, to which ions not permeable to sodium, calcium, phosphate. So, sodium, calcium, phosphate, proteins, etc. So, that's why they are called as indiffusible ions. So, remember this there are two categories of ions diffusible and indiffusible. Now, what happens next? Since the charges will always try to achieve a electrical equilibrium, that is the total number of cations are always equal to anions and that is why what happens, since some ions cannot cross, they will remain on their side, but they will affect the distribution of other ions also. So, as a result, we get a inequality in the distribution of almost each and every ion. So, now what happens is, there is Inequal distribution of ions across membrane at rest. At rest, okay, called as Gibbs Donan equilibrium. Now, most people get confused what is this Gibbs Dunan and how it is going to affect. So, let me make it clear for all of you once and first, inequal means what? It is an inequality at the level of individual ion, okay? But what is inequilibrium? The total charge is balanced. What is the meaning? The meaning is example, the cations and anions, they are equal. They are equal. There is no doubt in that, okay? But, the cations are not equal among themselves. Example, but, but sodium in ICF will not be equal to sodium in ECF. Clear? Same way, the potassium in ICF won't be equal to potassium in ECF. Are you clear? So, I hope it's clear. So, sodium in ICF is not equal to sodium in ECF. Potassium in ICF is not equal to potassium in the ECF, okay. So, these ions are not in equilibrium. So, these are not in equilibrium. I hope it's clear. 
So that means they are having what? Inequal distribution. So they are having what thing? Inequal distribution is present over the ions. Are you clear? So inequal distribution is present. Okay. Clear? Okay. Now comes the question. Okay. So what it looks like? So it looks like following. Okay. So now better we see the picture. Okay. So ICF, ECF, cations, anions. Okay. Now let's start seeing. Okay. So first is sodium. Sodium is outside the cell. Also the calcium. Okay, so they cannot come in, so they remain outside. Okay, clear. So they are outside, they cannot come inside. Now that will create what? That will create a net positive electrical gradient of sodium outside. So that is why to balance that the potassium is more inside. So understand you cannot have all positive one side. So that is why if sodium is more outside, the net positive charge is balanced by a predominance of potassium inside. So although potassium is permeable. But why potassium will not be equal? So ideally it should be equal like 50 here and potassium 50 here. But that is not true. The potassium will be more inside. Clear? Almost 120, 130. Outside just 4 or 5. So why? Because of the factor of gibbs donan effect. So let me just write down. So potassium is not equal. It is more inside. Now we see the other phenomena about the this. Now we know phosphate is the main anion in the cell along with the proteins. Now we know they cannot go out. So they cannot go out. So they will accumulate inside the cell. So phosphate protein will stay inside the cell. And to balance that, what happens? The chloride is going to stay on the outer side. So chloride. So where is chloride more? So it is more on the outer side. So chloride is more. So now what do we see? So first question is the potassium and chloride are diffusible ions. So they can easily cross the membrane. But even they are not in equilibrium. Why? Because of the presence of the proteins and phosphate outside and the sodium and calcium, sorry, uh, outside and phosphate and protein inside. So, what is the one line summary about the Gibbs Donan? So, just write Gibbs Donan equilibrium is what? So, the distribution, the of diffusible ions is dip, is yeah is due to the presence of diffusible or indiffusible ions are you clear is it clear like example, main is proteins in ICF. Because phosphate is still having a higher permeability. Proteins are, concentration wise phosphate is more. But proteins are the main. So that's why they ask you, the answer is proteins in the ICF and also the sodium outside. Okay, But if they ask you which is the main one, so answer is proteins are the main ones which are responsible for gibbs donan effect. So this is gibbs donan effect. Are you clear? So simple summary. What is Gibbs Donan equilibrium? It is some ions are more inside, some are more outside. That is called as what? Gibbs Donan. Okay. And what is this effect due to? It is mainly because of proteins which are present inside the cell. Okay. So the proteins in the ICF are having the highest, uh, you can say, role in the distribution. Because of proteins, what happens? The chloride will stay outside. Okay. It will pull potassium inside and sodium cannot come inside so sodium stay outside so that's why they ask you what is the main substance responsible for the gibbs donan equilibrium the answer is protein so that's why they ask you gibbs donan effect the answer is it is primarily caused by the proteins in this case okay now as we have seen the gibbs donan equilibrium that is the balance so don't get confused equilibrium is the balance that is it is equal okay so this equality symbol is equilibrium don't get confused and the indifference because of the presence is mainly the Gibbs Donan 
effect in this case. Okay, some people say they are both same, but remember the equality is equilibrium and the difference due to protein is mainly the effect. Okay, so they ask you effect, the answer would be proteins in ICF is the main. Okay, clear? There is one more effect that is about the plasma protein. Okay, and uh, that is not required. You can leave it now. Okay, now question is since the sodium and calcium are more on the outside they will try to move in so if you open if you open sodium channel they will come in the calcium will also come in so that means they have a net gradient to move inside same way chloride will also try to come inside so they will all try to move inside whereas the potassium ions they will try to move outside so they have a net concentration gradient which are in the direction from higher to lower side okay so we're not discussing electrical but mainly the concentration grain okay so right on so due to due to difference in concentration the ions will try to move along electrochemical gradient okay to achieve equilibrium achieve equilibrium to achieve what equilibrium now question is this equilibrium is uh, dependent on the concentration and charge okay equilibrium okay uh, example sodium calcium and chloride will move inside so they will move inside okay and potassium will try to move out try to move out okay so that means they will try to move to achieve the equilibrium okay and whenever charge particle move let's say this glass i make a hole the water comes out why because of high amount of water inside and the rate of flow depends on the amount of water same way when you open any ion channel the ion will flow and that is current and this current depends on the amount of ion that is concentration so this is called as equilibrium potential okay so understand this okay and the potential in this process of movement in this process is ep that is equilibrium potential okay equilibrium okay and obviously depends on multiple factor like the the valency of the iron all but the main factor on which it depend is which one and it mainly depends on concentration mainly depend on concentration of ions also the charge i'll discuss that later but if they ask you the main criteria it is the concentration of ions okay so i'll just give an example like look at this thing in my hand okay so it is a battery okay you can see it's a battery okay clear so this battery has a charge let's say 1.5 okay now this thing in my hand is a charger so this charger is also having a charge okay it's actually not a charger but again i'm just giving example it is basically a what a transformer it convert the ac into dc and then charge the phone i don't have an example of this let's say my phone okay so this phone has a bigger battery compared to this so this phone cannot be useful in the phone okay so this battery can run this remote okay what are the reason it contain what cations okay let's say it is zinc sulfide battery something so zinc or copper on one side and it is a neutral you can say port which other so when you put it in the circuit the ions start to flow and as the ions start to flow current is produced and the amount of current depends on the yes concentration of the charge particles which are there so a bigger battery contain more charges more charges will create more current so same way a bigger glass hold more water so if i make a hole it will give me more water flow so flow depends on the quantity and this quantity is concentration so same way potential depends on the yes concentration of the ions okay